Up next, we have our keys to the game now. We hear from Alyssa Charleston. Thanks, Tom. Well, it's another exciting week of Big Sky action as Idaho faces Sacramento State and Portland State this week. We'll go ladies first in keys to the game as they face a Sacramento State team that has just broken their second NCAA Division I record this season last Saturday for most threes made in a game with 25. It took them 55 attempts to do it, but that's far from their 80 attempts earlier this season from three that broke the other NCAA record. Head coach Bill Baxter allows a lot of freelance play from his team as they lead the Big Sky in scoring offense. So the Vandals have to keep their head about them. They can't play in a rushed fashion, and they have to box out and rebound those long shots from the Hornets. Running their systems at their own pace and not turning over the ball will really dictate how this game goes for Idaho. And as John said, the Vandals will have to face that same frantic pace again on Saturday against Portland State. This Vikings team hasn't had much practice with it under first-year head coach Lynn Kennedy. And there isn't just one player for Idaho to stop on this Portland State team. They've got a logjam of about four scorers, averaging right around 9 and 10 points. So Idaho will need to limit Portland State at every position 1-5. to five. And for the men's side, that Sac State style is kind of consistent throughout the whole program. They'll press for most of the game and try to force Idaho into making mistakes. In the paint, the Vandals will find the best shot blocker in the conference in Eric Studeville at two a game. And Sac State is led in scoring by a pair of sophomores, Justin Strings and Marcus Graves, with 14 and 15 apiece. And playing without leading scorers Perion Calendret and Vic Sanders this week, Idaho will have to look to Ty Egbert and Chad Sherwood for most of their scoring. Portland State is coming off a big win over Sacramento State, so you can bet they'll be feeling the confidence against the Vandals. Their leading scorer, forward Cameron Forte, does better off the bench with almost 17 a game and has shot 66% in the last three games. So don't be surprised if that is Nashawn George's assignment on Saturday. And despite their standing in the big sky right now, the Vikings lead the conference in assist to turnover margin and steals. So the Vandals will have to look to disrupt that rhythm to get another win in big sky play. Those are your keys to this week's games. Tom.